Hi, this is Tom Matson, and in this short video tutorial, we are going to cover Teleprompter Pro's text settings. And we're going to, uh, because we haven't used the classic user interface theme for these set of tutorials for 2.5, we're going to go ahead and connect to Teleprompter Pro and use that. You will recognize this as the the more uh, the more recent color scheme and theme that we had been using in a couple of the more recent versions. This is probably a good theme to use if you are on a phone or on a device without very much memory. The uh, images are smaller in size, will probably load more quickly. However, you certainly can try the others out and see if they work for you just fine. But if, if you happen to need to load, uh, load the pages quicker and don't have much memory, you might try this one. So at any rate, we're going to talk here real quickly, like I said, about the text settings for Teleprompter Pro. You'll find the Teleprompter Pro's text settings options below the scripted message input. So that is right there, scripted message input. And here are the text settings right here. And in the text settings, you have options to set the text alignment for headlines and for paragraphs. You can set these as left aligned, right aligned, center aligned, or justified. And then in addition to those options, you also can set text weights for bolded words. And there are a number of different options there. And as well for emphasized words. So when you're using those short codes for emphasized words and for bold words, you can also select font weights for them too. Now, also for the speakers, speaker font styles, in addition to uh, having color options and having font uh, family options and uh, font size options, you can also select a different style for the different speakers. So for the second, third, and fourth speakers, you have the option of either the fonts being normal or being italicized or being oblique in their entirety. So now those are those particular options. What um, what we can do here real quickly is let's just grab, we'll see how these work, and we'll grab, uh, let's, I'll just grab the, the short code. Okay. And we're going to drop that in. And we do have some paragraphs here. So now normally paragraphs are going to be justified. But what we're going to do here is we're going to change that and we're going to do a center paragraph. And let's just hit and center. And then uh, H1s, uh, we're going to, uh, we'll take and right uh, and we'll do a, uh, a left on the H2. We'll center the H3 and we'll uh, just right, left, left, and uh, center. We're just kind of stagger them like that. All right. And then, uh, let's see, uh, we'll make this uh, bolder, and we'll make this uh, more emphasized, and that for emphasized words, we're going to select that way, and the bold, we're selecting that way. And then for speaker font style, we will say, uh, we'll italicize the speaker 2, and we'll uh, make the speaker uh, Three normal and oblique for speaker four. We're going to speed this up a tad bit, and we're going to hit. Let's do it, and we will see what we've got here. All right. So instead of being justified, the paragraphs are now centered. as we get down below that. Okay, you see that the first headline is right, just fine, the second one is left, third one centered, right for the fourth, left for the fifth, and centered for the sixth. And second uh, speaker script is italicized, the third is normal, and the fourth is oblique. And these are uh, a little bolder, a little more emphasized. I think that was all the settings. Those, those are the settings. So uh, we'll jump back over here. That is it 
for this section for the text settings the next uh, tutorial I believe is going to be on font families so we will see you in that tutorial until then happy recording